It's been over 15 years since sea made their first sport boat, and since then they've come a long way, from 15 feet to over 23 like the wake we have today. They've gotten pretty good at it, but they want to make a good thing better. So this week on Power Profile, we're going to look at a brand new 230 wake and just see how good it's gotten. Standing 23 feet 6 inches, on the surface the 230 wake may simply seem like a tricked out challenger, but it's so much more. Of course it does share a lot of the same attributes as the Challenger, which actually cross over to wakeboard boats as well. The immediate benefit of the Jets is you have the cockpit the size of an amphitheater and a bow lounge equally as large. The storage is just as abundant with dedicated space for a cooler and enough room for all your gear, boards, towels and bags. Continuing with making a good thing better, Cedu's done that with their info center that they released last year. It had the ability, but it was lacking the functionality. Well, they've addressed that for 2012 with this touchscreen interface. It's simple, but it works beautifully. Everything is just a button push away. You have your fuel gauge, you can get to your ballast system, and you can even control the stereo. In addition to that, they even designed their own navigation system that works with your Navionics charts. Using the control pad in front of the throttle, you can navigate the same way as any nav system that costs thousands, only this one is standard. All you have to do is supply the charts. And there's more additions like that to the 2012 230 wake that do make this boat that much better. They've added an extra set of speakers to the tower and a row of lights. Sea-Doo has also upgraded the ballast system to hard tanks, so you can monitor them from the info center. This lets you mold and shape your wake the way you like. One thing that had no need to be better was the great ride and performance you get from the 230 wake. Because there's no worry about cavitation, jets are actually easier and therefore more fun to drive. This 23 foot boat was tossable like an 18 footer and had the mobility of a PWC. But this boat will specialize in towing and for that it is designed perfectly. Now I'm sitting here cruising at about 21 to 22 miles an hour, which is perfect wakeboard speed. And you notice I've got an amazing field of view. With most tow boats at that speed, they tend to ride, really bow up and it inflects your field of view. Not the case with the Sea-Doo, which is really safe on a busy lake. The same is true when you're taking off. The already low bow rise, thanks to the jets, combines with its downward angle to give you a consistently clear view of what's ahead of you so you can take care of what you're towing behind you. As I mentioned earlier, functionality of the touch system was their primary goal with this boat. And believe me, it's so easy to use. I want to set cruise control, I simply hit cruise. I want 23, so I hit set. Now it's telling me it's standing by. Advanced throttle. Cruise mode activated, I'm ready to go. It's just that easy. You can do a lot with the 230 wake, but Sea-Doo has made sure the boating process stays as simple as possible. But this is still a wakeboarding boat, and the wake is very important. With all three ballast tanks filled and two on board, the wake had a great ramp and was fairly clean, certainly a lot cleaner than most jet wakes. With more on board, you'll be able to shape and adjust, and the monitor system and simple ballast switches will make it easy to do so. It was 2007 when Sea-Doo first introduced the 230 and alternatively the 230 Wake. It was already a great boat at the time. Five years later, in true Sea-Doo fashion, they've taken a good thing and made it even better. 